Welcome to the lead GS sample test number 2. First question. A project team developing a library on a green field decides to reduce the project's parking footprint. Which of the following additional areas of the project could this also aid? The options are restoring habitat, protecting sensitive land, increasing the project density, encouraging workable design. The answer is protecting sensitive land because one of the synergies with parking reduction is that the land now not being used for parking is being protected from development, reducing the environmental impact from the location of a building on a site. Question 2. If a state has a green building code and a project team wants to pursue LEED certification, the state building code requirements can be used instead of the LEED requirements. The state building requirements have precedent over the LEED requirements. LEED requirements can be used instead of the state building code requirements. The project team can follow either the state building code or requirement or the lead requirements. The answer is the state building requirements have precedent over the lead requirements because any state or local building codes have precedent over lead. Third question What environmental issue is associated with the burning of fossil fuels? Options are release of carbon dioxide, sedimentation of water supplies, interference with migratory birds, reduction of water from aquifers. Answer is release of carbon dioxide. As burning fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide, a type of greenhouse gas. This question. A deterrent is the person on the project team who assigns credits to each of the team members is technically qualified on the lead credit forms and is authorized by the project administrator to sign the form or submit any credit interpretation request to GBCI. Last one, create the project narrative. The answer is Declarant is technically qualified on the lead credit forms and is authorized by the project administrator to sign the form. Because the project administrator assigns credits to team members and any team member can submit a CAR. The person Filling out the registration form usually submits the project narrative. Question number 5. For a project to be lead platinum, a minimum of how many points must be earned? The answer is 80. Next question. Which of the following project team members? is typically responsible for developing the erosion and sedimentation control plan for construction activity pollution prevention options are the architects the lead ap the projects owners the civil engineers the answer is the civil engineers uh, the civil engineer is usually responsible for the plan the landscape architect or general contractor may work on the plans development. Next question. Which of the following does a facility operator need in order to optimize water consumption? Options are a fixer cut sheets of waterless urinals, B. The schedules of the occupants, C. The operating times of the building, the submittering of water using systems. The answer is submittering of water using systems. Because to optimize systems, the system must be measured. 
submitting helps monitor which systems are using more water than others which are using too much water or which may have leaks this information can be gained from submitting next question which of the following is one of the most toxic and common sources of indoor air pollution in an existing building options are chlorofluorocarbon or cfc mercury volatile organic compound or bucs uh, or radon the answer is mercury because standard fluorescent lamps contain mercury next question the process of green building begins with the idea of the project and continues until option a the construction documents are prepared option b the schematic design is completed option c the project begins operating option d the project is reused or recycled answer is the project is reused or recycled because green building continuously improves a project from when the idea is first realized in a person's head to when the project is finally either reused for a different purpose or it is demolished and hopefully recycled this differs from conventional design where all trades are not involved in all parts of the process through the life cycle last question which design strategy allows a companies to actively participate in energy savings options are a smoking away from the building option b daylighting option c views to the outdoor option d task lighting answer is task lighting because task Lighting is the only choice that an occupant can actively do. Turn on or off task lighting. Lighting control for occupants helps them see better by controlling the lighting levels in the area. Lead projects should provide individual occupant control and group controls for shared space like the conference room. That's all from today. Thank you.